But what if you don't have lakhs to pay to them, right? What if you cannot afford them? You should have a proper constant motivation to prepare for this kid exam. And we also talk with our friend circles that what are the resources they follow. No one is not a big luxury. Jita is the one who is not a big luxury. And Hara is the one who is not a big luxury. So hey everyone, I hope you all are doing great and welcome back to our channel. So this is the most awaited video of our channel, right? So many of you were asking me on LinkedIn, on Instagram and on YouTube comments that Rohan, give me some resources to follow. Uh, for gate computer science preparation, right? And what should be your plan of action? What should be your strategy in order to achieve a good rank in gate computer science, right? So like if I'm a complete beginner and I don't know anything about gate exam and what are the subjects and what is the syllabus of that uh, exam? So how should I prepare? How should uh, like how what should be my schedule in order to complete all the topics of all the subjects of uh, gate computer science, right? And uh, like I should prepare and I should complete it before the gate exam, right? It should not be like I am completing the whole syllabus uh, after gate exam, right? It should be something in which I should complete the whole syllabus before the gate exam and also given that I should have some buffer period in order to revise all the concepts in order to give mock tests so that I can have some time management uh, skills also, right? For uh, uh, actually preparing for the gate exam. So in this video, I'll be talking about all those things. So before any delay, let's start this video. So these days, if you search for any topic from Gate Computer Science on YouTube, you will get plenty of resources from plenty of educators, right? So at times you also get confused that which video to watch and uh, which educator is teaching from the standard resources and like whether they are following those resources properly or not, or, or whether they are uh, teaching you from the standard resources or not, right? So, or, or it's just a time waste watching all those videos, right? Because we have limited number of uh, days before we get exam only, right? So we should utilize all those number of days optimally, isn't it? And some of the educators on YouTube also claim that following their videos, following their lectures on YouTube, YouTube, you will be able to get a good rank in gate exam. But is it true or uh, is it just a false claim just to increase their views, right? So uh, let me tell you that I don't think so because some of the educators claim those things, but is it, it is not at all true. They only cover it from the high level only. They don't go into the low level of each concept from Gate Computer Science and Gate demands you that you should have a good proper low level foundation of every concept of each subject in order to crack it. Okay, you cannot just watch these uh, random videos and you think uh, that you will be able to crack those uh, that exam, right? So like if you are from a good coaching institute, then you don't have to worry, right? Because they will provide you all the material, all the stuff so that you can complete the syllabus of Gate Computer Science, right? But what if you don't have lakhs to pay to them, right? What if you cannot afford them? So what are the resources you should follow? What are the things you should keep in mind to prepare for gate exam? So don't worry, this video will answer all of your queries. So if you are new to this channel, I am Rohan Deswal and I am a computer science student at IIT Guwahati. So if you are liking my content, then please consider subscribing it. It highly motivates me to create quality content for you all. Okay. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you the sheet for gate computer science preparation. Okay. So I am Dhruvil. So uh, who is Dhruvil basically? So if you are following this channel, you must be knowing who is Dhruvil, right? So I am Dhruvil prepared this sheet. So what is this sheet is all about? So in this sheet, what we have done is that uh, we have written all the important topics for all the subjects for Gate Computer Science and along with those all the topics we have also listed what are the resources you should follow, what are the standard resources you should follow so that you don't waste your time unnecessarily, okay? So these are the standard resources. So if you see this sheet, you will find there are two types of resources in this sheet. So the first one is the primary resources and the second one is the secondary resources, okay? And so what are these primary resources? So these primary resources are the things that you must cover, okay? You cannot avoid these resources. And if you don't get the concept from the primary resources, then you can switch to the secondary resources, okay? So uh, we have also given the number of days column, okay? So what is the purpose of giving the number of days column? So basically, if, uh, this helps you track, okay? This helps you track your progress to monitor your uh, number of days you have given to a particular topic, okay? Because sometimes what happens is that 
we are very uh, well motivated to start preparing for gate exam right but we don't know how many days we should give uh, to each topic right so that we can complete the whole syllabus before the gate exam and we can also have a buffer for revision right so that's why we have mentioned the number of days which you, uh, which you should allocate to each topic so uh, if you see the sheet we have uh, around 180 days right we have a period of 180 days in which you can uh, you will be able to cover all the topics and let's say let's say that uh, you are having more number of days okay let's say you have uh, 250 days or 270 days so you can increase the number of uh, days by one or by two okay keeping in mind that it should not uh, exceed the gate exam date okay so uh, if we have Feb, uh, gate exam on february then you should complete or you should uh, exceed the number of days so that you can uh, complete the syllabus before december only okay because you can keep the january month for revision right so before getting into the sheet let's talk about what are the things you should keep in mind in order to start preparation from the sheet okay so the very first thing is that uh, you should have a proper constant motivation to prepare for this gate exam okay so i understand that uh, there are many videos there are many playlists in this uh, sheet that sometimes you may get deviated and you may get uh, frustrated watching these videos right but these videos will be worth watching it watching after watching these videos you will be able to solve the questions from for gate exam okay i and dhruv will also follow this so we have curated all these videos all the resources which we followed and we also talked with our friend circles that what are the resources they followed what are the things they found useful that we have included all those resources in this sheet okay please do not binge watch it okay so this is not a movie if you will binge watch it you will not understand the concept the practice is important so like parallelly practice these questions also like practice questions also from these topics okay so from where you can find the questions you can find the previous year questions you can find the practice questions from gate overflow this video is not sponsored but these are the resources which i followed okay so that's why i'm sharing it with uh, you all uh, so i remember of this uh, one quotation one of my mentor told me once while i was preparing for gate exam is that uh, कोई भी लक्ष्य बड़ा नहीं जीता वही जो डरा नहीं एंड हारा वही जो लड़ा नहीं ओके सो दिस इज द काइंड ऑफ कोटेशन आई यूज टू पेस्ट इट ऑन माई वॉल एंड जस्ट वन एवर आई वॉज डिमोटिवेटेड आई यूज टू वॉच दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग ओके सो इनिशियली वॉट हैपन दैट यू ऑल आर वेरी मोटिवेटेड टू गिव दिस गेट एग्जाम यू आर ऑल वेरी एंथुसियाज टू प्रिपेयर फॉर गेट एग्जाम बट एज द जर्नी गोज योर मोटिवेशन डिसअपियर्स राइट यू विल गेट फ्रस्ट्रेटेड एंड लीव इट so these motivation helps you okay have a proper goal that why you want to give this gate exam just write it on a piece of paper and just paste it on a table or a wall in front of your study table okay just write it down and just paste it okay trust me after getting into iit you know life will become very easy for you okay life will become very easy for you because you will you will get ahead of your life like you will get 4 to 5 years ahead of your life okay like without coming into iit what you can achieve after 3 to 4 years after getting into iit you will get it before 3 to 4 years okay so trust me like if you get into iit you know life will be very easier and you will you can't even imagine what is the worth of uh, getting into an iit after getting into what is the life here okay so if you like if you are preparing for a gate exam you know you should you should give it your fullest okay don't compromise on that so let's get to the second point is that always prepare in groups okay so if you have a partner or if you have anyone with whom you can prepare it is it is the best how you can prepare for gate okay so if you don't have any partner if you can't find one so just drop a message on drop a post on linkedin okay that i'm preparing for gate exam is anyone willing to uh, prepare for uh, with me also so at my time there were my friends who were preparing for gate exam so they also motivated me there was a uh, situation of competitiveness okay like if someone is solving and you are not solving so you will get excited right you will you will feel like why i am not doing it right always remember that if you are studying alone you are confined within you only okay if you are studying something you will think that yeah this is the correct answer this should be the correct right but what if there is another perspective or there is another way to solve 
that question right so that way you will get from your partner okay from your friend who is also preparing so keep these things in your mind and let's dive into the sheet and let's see what is there in it okay so yeah this is the gate csc schedule sheet curated by me and dhruvel so this took around two months okay so in this particular sheet there are resources which are followed by me him and many of our friends which are in iit only okay so all the things which are required to crack gate exam we have given in this sheet okay you can see that there are a column for subjects what are the topics involved on those subjects and what are the subtopics what are the number of days you should give to each subject okay so you have the primary resources you have the secondary resources right so again i'm telling you that first follow the primary resources and if you don't get the concept from the primary resources then only jump to the secondary resource okay so let's first talk about the digital logic which is the first so and also you can uh, like follow any order okay any order of subjects whatever the subject uh, for you it is easy okay start from those subjects only to get initial confidence okay so i have given the digital logic because digital logic is quite an easy subject and it is very well subject to start your gate preparation okay so let's talk about the digital uh, digital logic first so here you can see there are barely overall three uh topics on this subject which is the first is boolean algebra the second is combinational circuit and the third one is the sequential circuit right and here you can see what are the sub topics in each of these topics right so if i talk about boolean algebra there are simplified boolean expression then sop and pos forms functionally complete set uh functionally complete set and then self dual functions and k map these all things right so you should provide two days right you should have a target that you should complete these many topics in two days okay so you can see here that these resources are not just for uh, uh, this particular topic okay so these are the resources for whole subject not just for this topic so let's say that i am following the digital logic primary resource which is this particular dld lecture okay so now let's open this particular lecture i know that many of you don't like nptel videos but if you give time in these videos you will no one can teach you better than from these videos okay like if you are not from a coaching institute right yeah definitely they they will teach you uh, quite interestingly and uh, they will give you some tips and tricks also but if you cannot afford those resources if you cannot afford the coaching institute this is the only way to understand the concepts okay so you have like you have to be patient and, and you have to give your 110% to prepare for this exam uh, to prepare for this gate exam okay so please do not compromise on that so now let's move to the next subject which is computer organization and architecture so here you can see that we have these many topics and these are the sub topics right and these are the number of days which are required so if i talk about the primary resources there you can see that the video lectures covering uh, co is that module 1 module 2 module 5 and module 6 of this playlist so what about engineering mathematics so don't worry you don't have to follow anything just follow and just solve all the previous year questions of all the branches okay not the csc of all the branches of all the previous year questions you will get the idea how to solve this uh, how to tackle engineering mathematics questions okay now let's go to the discrete maths so the best book to follow discrete maths is this book okay you just cannot avoid this particular book so get the pdf and study from there okay so please don't make any excuse so for aptitude so aptitude again just like engineering mathematics you can solve all the previous year questions from all the branches okay you don't have to prepare anything else so like you can also do aptitude parallelly along with all the subjects also okay so that's why we have written parallel here and here you can see that the total number of days required is 176 let's say 180 okay last thing which i want to share is is that here there are the free lectures from gate book okay so here this is the gate book lectures so note this is not sponsored from gate book okay so this is not sponsored from gate book these are the resources which we found very useful okay that's why we are sharing it there is no harm in sharing good resources there is no harm in sharing the things which are useful to you also and which were useful to us also right again the these are the top, these are the things okay so uh, we have not included the practice days like the days in which you are giving some test in the days in which you are revising the concepts okay again i am telling you that after completing one particular topic please try to give uh, questions please try to solve questions please try to give test of those uh, consider buying one or two uh, test series of any good coaching institute okay from there you can attempt questions also because the practice is the only thing which will help you crack gate exam you have to solve questions there only right it is doesn't matter whether you have very in depth knowledge of any topic or not right you must be able to solve questions 
so again uh, if i missed anything or if you suggest any of the videos which i have not included it then you can comment it below and if you are preparing the gate exam from this sheet please comment it below and if you found this particular sheet helpful please let us know and comment it and uh, share it with your friends share it who are in actual need so this is it for this particular video and all the best to you all okay for gate exam and yeah we'll meet in our next video soon until then bye